According to the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, only 550 some thousand veterans of World War II are still with us today. That compared to the 16 million Americans who served during that war. Here in Wisconsin, there are about 12,000 World War II vets. News Channel 7's Maria Schotkowski met nine of them on the Never Forgotten Honor flight. And Maria, that's a pretty good amount of World War II veterans on the trip. So how was it meeting them? Well, Jeff and Heather, it was incredible. Meeting all the veterans was an amazing experience, but as the years passed, the older the World War II veterans get, and according to the Department of Veterans Affairs, about 362 World War II vets are dying each day. Most of the World War II vets on the Never Forgotten Honor Flight are well into their 90s, but that didn't stop them from enjoying the trip, which flew them out to Washington, D.C. to see the memorials constructed in their honor. For many, it was their first time seeing the World War II Memorial, which they say was a powerful experience. It means a lot to me. I mean, I've, I've been here a few times, but they didn't have all this. And this, they've done a well job in representing the whole, whole country. It means that we had never we had forgotten anyway. <laughs> but it uh, means a lot to me, a lot to me. All day long, people were coming up to the vets and thanking them for their service, especially at the World War II Memorial, where there's a specific pillar dedicated to Wisconsin. And Jeep was a wonderful to interview, and I loved hearing some of his stories, including how he got to cross the Panama Canal. But there was one World War II vet who stuck out a little as the only female vet on the entire trip, and I'm really excited to share her story, and that'll be on tonight at 10. Heather and Jeff?